Hello my beautiful people, I'm Citizen Ando and I welcome you to my channel. I trust you're doing great wherever you find yourself. It's a brand new day and I'm glad to share with you another episode. I've got the submersible water pump for my borehole installed. This very process is the continuation of the drilling of my borehole. If you haven't gotten the chance to watch that video yet, you can click on the notification on the top right corner of this video to watch that. It cost me 17,000 cities, which was approximately 1,283 US dollars for the drilling of the borehole. And that amount included the purchasing of the submersible water pump and its installation. It is not advisable to install your water pump right after the borehole has been drilled. The reason behind this is that a newly drilled borehole has stones and so many particles that could damage the water pump if it gets installed right away. So the best thing to do is to wait a couple of days for the stones and particles to settle down before the installation of the pump. In my case, it took about six weeks for the pump to get installed, mainly because I had some groundwork on the compound to be done and also wanted to make sure security at the site was rest assured to prevent any theft of the pump. The capacity of this submersible water pump is 0.75 horsepower, which is an Italian made. It was placed about 50 meters deep and it pumps very well with high pressure and pumps continuously without stopping. The drilling company that made this possible was One Time Waterworks and this is their contact on the screen. They work across Ghana and I can highly recommend them to you should in case you would need their services. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe, like and share my videos so others could have the chance to watch them as well. Some list of items you've seen in this video includes control box, hose pipe, supply cable, and rope to suspend the pump from getting to the very bottom of the borehole. With the exception of the control box, these items are tied to the pump and carefully dropped into the borehole. The supply cable gets fixed onto the control box, which propels the pump to work when connected to power, and the hose pipe then transports water out of the borehole. Mr. Osman and his team did an excellent job. He called me a week after the installation to confirm if everything was perfectly working. We are already using water from the borehole to work on site. My poly tank is already up the rooftop, but we are already pumping water into the block tank on the compound since the water doesn't look very clear at this point. So we're trying to get all the dirty water out before we would start pumping into the poly tank. It's advisable to find yourself a water storage to store water from the borehole and refill as and when needed. This prevents daily pumping of water, which puts so much pressure on the pump and eventually damages it in no time. Thank you for sharing your valuable time with me here on my channel. And I would like to end my submissions here so you could enjoy the rest of this video. Do well to come back again because I have a lot more to share with you in the coming days. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. I do hope to see you again in the next episode. But until then, be good. Take care of yourself out there. See you later. Hasta la vista.